Today on the Ask BP Podcast, you're in for something special. This is a different kind of show. Uh, normally, we do uh, direct questions asked from members of Bigger Pockets, but today I wanted to do something special, and so I actually recorded the following uh, this podcast episode in the car while driving. Uh, so the sound's a little bit worse quality than maybe normal, uh, but the content is absolutely golden. I, I think this uh, the lesson that I learned while just driving while listening to an audio book in the car. I just I. It was so uh, awesome. I just had to share it with everybody else. So that's what you're listening to today. Uh, so again, if you have not normally listened to the Ask BP podcast, this is not normally what it is like. Uh, today is a special uh, day. So I really hope you'll like this thing. I hope this is going to be as life-changing for you as the lesson was for me. So without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, the one thing you need to do to achieve your wildest dreams. You're listening to another Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast, where you'll hear short, direct answers to your biggest real estate questions. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets forums by using hashtag AskBP. And don't forget to pick up your copy of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing and other great content when you sign up for your free account at BiggerPockets.com. With that, let's get to the show. Hey guys, this is Brandon. You probably know me from the Bigger Pockets podcast or here right now on BP. Uh, and today I'm actually on the road driving. Uh, don't worry, hands free, not texting and driving. I didn't even press the record button. Heather here did it. This is my wife, Heather. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today I wanted to uh, talk to you about something, a lesson that I uh, really was made clear to me in my head finally uh, just while driving here today. And I wanted to share with you guys kind of what I'm learning. Uh, the, the topic of today's video is the one thing you need to achieve all your wildest dreams and uh, maybe not so wild maybe just normal boring dreams but here's what I want to talk about so we're driving around the country right now uh, we we left Seattle about three weeks ago yeah three weeks ago from today and made it all the way out to New York and then down and now we're down in Mobile Mobile Alabama and uh, here in Mobile Alabama I tend to pick up a really bad southern accent and I'm not very good at talking in a southern accent but I try so here's the thing. We're listening to the book, The One Thing on Audible in the car as we're driving around. And I, and I heard, uh, you know, them on, on the book, I don't know who's the actual narrator, but uh, the book, by the way, is written by Jay Papazan uh, and Gary Keller. I think Gary Keller is a big name on there, but Jay Papazan was on our podcast, so he's awesome, so he gets a shout out. Uh, anyway, probably the best business book I've ever read in my entire life. Here's the lesson that I learned today that really like I internalized, you know, it finally made sense and now I'm excited to share it with you. It's the idea of, uh, I, what does he call it? Goal setting in the now is what he calls it or something like that. Uh, but here's the idea and I want to relate it to real estate. Even though the book is not a real estate book, it actually relates really, really easy to real estate. So I'm going to walk you through uh, a common uh, issue that a lot of people face and maybe you're one of these people and try to help you work through the solution to your problem. So. Uh, we're going to start with this way. We're going to say, let's say your goal, your goal in life, or at least in the in the foreseeable future, is to achieve five thousand dollars a month in cash flow. I use that number because that's you know fairly normal, like uh, American family. You could probably quit your job at about five thousand a month in in mostly passive income on rental properties. Now, I'm not talking about flipping or any of those things today. I'm talking about rental properties in particular. Uh, but don't worry about this. This concept will apply to anything, not even just real estate. This will apply to anything you want in your life. Uh, this concept applies to. So let me break it down for you with the rental property idea. So you want 5000 per month in cash flow, which means money coming in uh, after all the expenses have been paid. You want 5000 a month. So. And we're going to put five years as the, as the timeline on that because a good goal should have you know a, a definitive timeline as well as like you know being precise and all the other smart things you know that they say you should have in a goal. So my goal, we're, we're going to say for the purpose of this conversation, is to make five thousand a month in cash flow within five years. Now, using the the methodology of the one thing, we're going to work backwards from that goal to see what we can accomplish. And so we're going to start with that we want 5000 a month in cash flow. And to get there, we could divide it over the five years to say $1,000 per month. I'm sorry, yeah, $1,000 per month 
uh, every year we're going to add. So we could say the first year we want a thousand, by the end of the first year we want a thousand a month, and then in the second year we're going to add another thousand a month, and the third, and so on and so forth. However, I realize that's probably a little unrealistic, uh, knowing that you know as you get better and better in your real estate investing, you'll be, you're able to buy properties more more and more easily. So let's actually take our goal of 5,000 a month and, and divide it up a little bit. Let's just say during the last year, during year five, we're going to buy 2,000 a month worth of properties. In other words, we're gonna buy enough real estate in year five to fund $2,000 a month. In year four, we're only gonna do 1,000 a month. In year three, 1,000 a month. And then in year one and two, only 500 a month. So hopefully that makes sense. So the, like. At, by the end of year one, we only need to achieve, by the end of year one, we only need to achieve 500 a month in cash flow. And then next year, in year two, we need to achieve another 500 a month in cash flow, which will make it a thousand total. And then year three is a thousand, year four is a thousand, and year five is going to be two thousand. Because after five years, you should be pretty good. You should be able to acquire, you know, a, a, a lot more, maybe larger units or whatever. Okay, so now we've got our breakdown of our goals over the next five years. So what we want to do is we want to do this goal setting activity that the one thing teaches and they say, okay, what is the, if your goal is to achieve 5,000 a month in cash flow after five years, what is the one thing, what is the one thing you need to have accomplished then in year one? So we're going to break it from five years down to one year. So during year one, what is the one thing you need to accomplish? Well, we already defined that. We want 500 per month in cash flow by the end of year one. Okay, so now we're getting more specific with our goals. That's great. Okay, so let me break that down further. If our goal is to achieve 500 a month in cash flow, what does that look like? Okay, um, 500 a month in cash flow could be one of several things. It could be a single. It could be a one single family house that produces 500 a month in cash flow. I don't know if you have that in your area. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Now the specific path you choose will depend greatly upon you know your area and your how much money you have to work with and your expertise and a lot of things so I can't tell you exactly what path but let's just say uh, you could do a single family house that would produce 500 million cash flow but that would probably be tough you could maybe do five single family houses that I'll produce a hundred dollars a month in cash flow that's probably a lot more easy easy, easy, easy to do uh, but you need to go through five loans and five whatever or if you're like me you could do five a five unit apartment complex or a six plex or a four plex or whatever but we'll say for simplicity a five unit pro property so a five plex that produces a hundred dollars per month in cash flow and now i like multifamilies, so and i like the idea of you know consolidation and so i like that idea it's one loan it's only one property and i need that one property to achieve one thing and that is 500 a month in cash flow okay so now i've narrowed my goal down from five years down to one year and my one year goal is to achieve a property that produces 500 a month in cash flow and I want a small multifamily property because I like them they work in my area okay so let's, let's take our one year goal and go down even smaller what is the one thing that you can do this month to achieve that goal what is the one thing you can do this month to get a property by the end of the year Okay, so if my goal by the end of the year was to get a property, by the end of this month, let's say, I want to have identified that property and made an offer. I think, are we reasonable there? Knowing that we might make several offers on properties before we get the perfect one. So it gives us a few months, and we're going to have a few months worth of closing, and we might even have a few months worth of, uh, you know, rehab to do on the project or, or things like that, you know, to actually get it up to the 500 a month in cash flow. So I'm going to go ahead and say that by the end of the month, I want to have identified the property and made an offer. Okay, so I think we're all, now at the end of the month, I want to have achieved that one goal. So now we've gone from five years to one year to one month. Okay, so what is the one thing you can do in the next seven days, in the next week? What is the one thing in the next week that you can do to achieve that monthly goal of finding the property? Well, in the next seven days, you're probably going to have to uh, you know, find, uh, we're going to say, you're going to have to in the next seven days, you know, uh, find, I don't know, numerous properties that might match. I think that's, a, I mean, it's kind of a general goal, but you're going to need to find multiple properties and have consistent leads coming in within seven days from now. 
uh, you know, it, maybe you could even say, let's go, let's go a step further. Let's talk about direct mail. You know, like you don't have to use direct mail, but I, I think it's good for this story. So within seven days, I need to have my direct mail letters sent out, knowing that it's going to take a few days for calls to come in, and then I'll have the next three weeks to find the right deal. Okay, so I went down from five years to a month, or to a year, to a month, to a week. And my one week goal within seven days is to have my direct mail letters sent out. Now, this isn't the conversation for how many direct mail letters you should send out, but let's just say we're gonna send out 2,000 letters, 2,000 letters to potential multifamily owners in my area. I'm gonna send out 2,000 letters within seven days from now. Okay, so what is the one thing that I need to do today to accomplish that seven day goal? So my, uh, you know, I'm gonna say that uh, I wanna achieve you know, I need to send the letters in seven days, which means I'm gonna have to have my list all put together. I'm gonna have to have all those letters printed, stamped, and sent to the post office in seven days. Okay, so in those seven days, we could break that down and say, okay, well, today I need to get the list. Tomorrow, I need to, you know, start addressing envelopes, address them for four days, do 250 per day, or well, 500 per day. Now maybe I want to print them, and, you know, on my computer, and basically I'm going to work backwards from seven days. So my one goal today, my goal today is to get the list. That's all I need to accomplish today. That is why one thing it is more important than everything else I have going on today, because the it is the one thing that if I do correctly, I will achieve my goal. And so you know, my five-year goal. If I just keep lining up these dominoes, as the analogy they use in the one thing, I'll keep lining up my dominoes, and hopefully within you know, those five years I have my goal, as long as I keep hitting the right domino. So, my one goal today is to get the list. Okay, let's break that down even smaller. What is the one thing I can do this hour, this hour, in order to achieve my daily goal? Well, I'm going to need to learn a little bit more about direct mail, because I don't feel like I'm that knowledgeable yet. I'm gonna need to learn a little bit more, like I don't know exactly what list to, to mail. I don't know where to get that list from. Uh, you know, I, I have some ideas. I've heard of companies like List Source or Melissa Data, but I don't know if that's exactly where I'm supposed to get them from. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I need to research. Okay, so my goal for the hour is to, is to find out where to get the list and what list to get. I have one hour to find out where do I get the list and, you know, and, 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 how, and what kind of list do I need. So, okay, now I know what I'm gonna do in the next hour. So what is the one thing, like we're gonna break down even smaller, what is the one thing I can do at this very moment, right now, to achieve that hourly goal? What's the one thing? Well, I'm going to go, I mean, there's a couple things. One, I could go and post on the Bigger Pockets Marketplace, no, sorry, not Marketplace, the Bigger Pockets Forums, and just ask very directly, you know, I'm looking to do this strategy, I need to mail, who do I mail it to, and you know, how do I do this? And within an hour, you'll likely get responses. Or, I could go call up somebody who I know does direct mail. I could use Bigger Pockets chat and chat with somebody who I know does direct mail. I could go search the site for direct mail and see if my question's been answered, which I guarantee it has. And then I could read for the next hour and I'll find it exactly what list and where to get it from. So, I've broken down a five-year goal into bite-sized chunks to know exactly at this very second right now, what should I be doing? I should be posting a thought on the forums or I should be reading this one article. And then at the end of all of this, to sum up, I'm gonna write down everything I just said. I'm gonna write it all down. And once I have that written down and I know exactly what I'm gonna do, now I've got a plan, a battle plan to go forward and I know exactly where I'm going next and next and next to be able to achieve my goals. And so that is how you use the one thing, the one thing methodology to be able to achieve your wildest dreams. So if you have not picked up a copy of the book, The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazan, I highly, highly recommend it. Life-changing book, best business book I have ever read. I think you'll love it. So I just, I mean, what I just talked about there was one tiny section of that book. Uh, and there's a hundred more ideas just like it uh, and things to help you achieve your goals. So go ahead and pick up a copy of that today. Uh, and uh, I think just go to biggerpockets.com slash the number one thing. Biggerpockets.com slash one thing. 
and it'll send you right over to Amazon to get that book. So with that, let's get out of here. Uh, thanks for listening, and hopefully this helps you achieve your goals. Let me know in the comments below this, uh, you know, a little bit of, if you like the idea, uh, what your thoughts are, and if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the little thumbs up button uh, on this YouTube video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So thank you very much, and I will see you around uh, for Bigger Pockets. This is Brandon and oh Heather signing <laughs> off. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out on this episode of the Ask BP podcast. Again, this was a totally different episode than normal. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you are listening on iTunes or on Stitcher, uh, make sure you leave us a rating review uh, and let people know that you like the show. Uh, and of course, if you have questions you want answered directly here on the Ask BP podcast, I want to encourage you to do just that. Uh, so go ahead and send me an email, Brandon at BiggerPockets.com, or shoot me a tweet at Brandon at BP, uh, or, you know, to at Bigger Pockets on Twitter, and just make sure you use the hashtag AskBP. Uh, so again, thank you so much for listening today. Hopefully this thing was life-changing for you, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around Bigger Pockets and on the next episode of the Ask BP podcast. Uh, you know, I probably should end today with, uh, with a success quote as well. So today's success quote actually is uh, from Theodore Roosevelt, and Roosevelt said, in any situation, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. Again, I'll say that again. In any situation, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. That's from Theodore Roosevelt. I love that. It kind of ties in today with the one thing, that whole methodology on that book. So make sure you check that book out as well. And with that, let's get out of here for the SBP podcast. I'm Brandon, your host today. Uh, and remember, in your pursuit of your goals and dreams, don't just learn, but take action. For the SBP Podcast, I'm Brandon, signing off. You've just heard another episode of the Bigger Pockets Ask BP Podcast. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets Forum by using hashtag AskBP. And for more incredible real estate investing tools and education, including a free download of our book, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing, head over to biggerpockets.com and sign up for your free account today. We'll see you on the next show.